So communication, just to finish up with, this is a really severe disease, as you can see from the study that we've done. So you need to tell everybody, hey, I've got an outbreak situation going on here. Um, I think for some of us, there seems to be almost a continual outbreak. And you could see from that graph that I showed you, there were cases every single month uh, at Poor Chicago. Sometimes, perhaps, you, you might be a bit luckier than that and you're not seeing cases almost continually. So if that is the case, you should be advising local shelters, veterinary hospitals, rescue groups, uh, tell everybody that this is what's going on because you might need to shut your uh, shelter to intake. And you need to educate your foster caregivers as well as the adopters about the risks if there has been panleukopenia recently in your shelter, um, that will be all of the people that are taking care of cats from three days before the first case was recognised. And you should let them know what clinical signs they should watch for and what action to take. Um, you need to document all new cases. So the main methods of documentation, of course, you need to write it all down. You need to document who those cases are, what's their ID number, age, gender, uh, where you got them from, and also the diagnostic results. So did you do fecal antigen tests? Did you do blood smear? When did the clinical signs develop? What were the clinical signs? You need to do document that because, again, you build up a pattern and you can also use those... Um, those records to help you to um, manage your population. I would like to acknowledge Maddie's Fund, Poor Chicago, Dr. Tudemass, and uh, KT Hall, our Maddie's Research Tech at Poor Chicago, best tech in the world. Uh, for their assistance with this study. I think there's good practical information that has come out of the, the study that should help us all. Thank you very much. I think it's break time. Thank you.